Welcome back everyone, John Panner here with another video. We have some exciting updates with Limbus Company. We are going to check out the updates as well as go over a few of the changes that has happened and what I thoughts are about the game. We have two big ones. We have two new trailers, which is two new banners, as well as a few of the game updates. So first and foremost, we are just going to jump into the scheduled updates. We've already checked out Don Quixote's kit and she's pretty okay. So they basically made it so that in terms of mere dungeons they made it so that <laughs> the skill cap for the mere dungeons instead of the enemies getting like a plus five bonus it's a plus three i think it's a lot better right now what's ending up happening is that by the time you reach floor five and if you ever encounter the bowl or Jesus Christ, the bull or even the statue, like a lot of the bosses are really aggressive. By far the most challenging in terms of just outstatting you is the bull. The bull actually messes you up so hard. Even with ego clashes, you actually don't have a good chance with beating like the bull. You actually need egos that have upwards of 30 plus power. So stuff like uh, Pursuant or Ryoshu's fourth match flame like you need like some really high numbers to be even able to consistently eclipse the bull and even then it's not that easy and i played on the new patch and it was still difficult as heck oh my god but just to give you just like a base tier i'm at level 30 with most of my units with up tie three that's kind of the base right now but anything higher is just so hard so really like the change even with me where i have most of the characters and all the like the highest tier units and most units pretty much high level this is a well-needed change because the bull was so tough even after they changed it. Oh my god, the bull was a hard one. So I'm glad they changed it, thankfully. Uh, I think the better way of doing it is if they made it so that it was more roguelike. So that when you finish a mirror dungeon, you get more of those starlight shards. If they expanded the starter buffs and made it so like either A, cheaper or B, stronger, I think it'd be better. I think it'd be a better incentive to be able to have like much stronger starter buffs to be able to tackle harder content because then it increases the replayability. It's basically acts like your pseudo roguelike where as you play and as you fail, the stronger your runs get and you spend more resources on making your starting run stronger, etc, etc. Like that to me is better, but also at the same vein, these runs are long. I remember spending like basically an hour and a half, two hours just trying to complete the bowl. It was, yeah, it was really aggressive. That was in total for the mere dungeon. So really like this change. The next change that we have to go over is this one right here. Basically, there was an issue where if you use Revive K Corp Class 3 in Mirror Dungeon 2, and if it's staggered, it basically like pseudo soft lock the game for you. So they basically had to change it where, uh, or they're going to have to change it where K Corp does not do that. So TLDR can't play Honglu K Corp. He's a little bit broken. That's fine. Not a big deal. Now, the biggest changes are these ones. We have two new trailers that have come out. We're going to take a look. One's for the event. I haven't checked it out, so we're going to check it out for the first time. Alright, so this is like the next chapter. I believe it's chapter 4.5 because this is the beach update. The magic hell bus, which is the magic school bus. Hmm, alright. It's like a dating sim game. Oh god. He's ahead and bark on a collage. New identity. Oh, Sinclair. What is this? What is the bug one? Boat Fixer Sinclair? Whoa, who's that babe? Oh, it's Ishmael. Whoa, lord, what the heck is that? Boat Work Fixer Ishmael. Three star. Alright, that's pretty sick. Oh, what the heck? Oh god. Oh god. New Ego? Go to Ryoshu? Wait, Soda Ryoshu? Wait, what? Soda Honglu? This is like- Oh my god, wait, what? Is that Sailor Moon? My memories and then new friends ahead. Oh lord. I don't know what I'm witnessing, but... Oh 
Oh, yikes. A lot to digest there. All right. So first and foremost, where is it? Pixie Sinclair, or both Pixie Sinclair, looking like he's gonna be like a slash hunter team. Two star identity, which is okay. Now this one, woo, woo, baby, this is hot. This is nice. Now the question is, why is it not the default screen? I don't know why, but for some reason, they have like really nice fan servicey type of display. And then when you level them up to up tie like three, they turn into this. I'm like, all right, there. So we don't get the nice, nice one. And then all of a sudden we get the, the, the very aggressive one, which is okay. But we have two new egos too, which is the soda. Ryoshu, why is it soda? Like, what is this? This is like a like, Kamehameha? And this looks like a version of Ego Sack with Hong Lu's smashing shrimp. And that's Sailor Moon reference if I've ever seen one. Jesus Christ. Alright, so it looks like for the event, we're gonna be getting Sinclair, Ryoshu, or not, no. Sinclair, Ishmael. Those are gonna be the two event Ego identities whether or not you have to pull for them probably you're gonna have to pull for the three star one and then we're gonna do two star one the last thing is we're gonna be two egos with it as well which is ryoshu as well as hong lu the thing i hope the event doesn't do is i hope it doesn't make it like the bongi plushies event oh my god the bongi plushies event was so bad like so bad unless you had pulled for ryoshu and also got the ego you were basically playing at a hardcore like 50% deficit like it was so bad I think if they release the event they have to scale it week by week so make it so that you can play one week get the max rewards for that week and then next week you can get more rewards and next you can get more rewards so time gate your rewards so you don't make it so everyone feels like they have to burn through the event honestly make the event like a month or two and I think it'd be fine if it's like a super omega grindy event I think that will give you know, Project Moon, more time to be able to develop more stuff. So I think that's the best way of doing it. But oh my god, Bongi plushies were a nightmare. We're a nightmare. Just give us a faster way of grinding it without having it be so long. Because honestly, I was able to keep up with the Bongi plushies. But I always remember playing Mirror Dungeons. Like two or three Mirror Dungeons every day just to be able to kind of clear the dungeon like in a timely manner. So hopefully they make that change. Let's hope this event's a little bit better. Don't burn me out. New Ego. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Wait, we just saw it. This is Sailor Moon. Wait, what the hell? This is Sailor Moon. Ego or identity? Now, this is a Hong Lu ego. This is ego corroded. Oh, what the heck is that? This is Ishmael. Okay, Ishmael. Identity. Looking like a puncture blunt or puncture slash. Jesus. That is quite eviscerating. Alright, alright, alright. So, a lot of updates coming out. Looking forward to everything. Based off of where we're at in terms of the roadmap, we are basically here. We're basically here. Line 2 Mobius hasn't come out. It's delayed, but that's fine. We're going to need the Magic Hellbus at Indian Egos. So this is where we're going to be adding at. So this is all the stuff we're going to be adding at. So the next thing that's going to be coming up is the mini event, new content, art of business cards, and new extractions. So August is going to be dead, but September might be looking good. So these three things, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Honestly, looking forward to all of it. We're pretty much on track with the roadmap. A little bit delays with like Mobius, but it's fine. Refraction Railway will keep us busy, so that's gonna be it. Anyways, you guys, as usual, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the question comments down below. John Panio signing out. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.